five minutes to convince you never wear a cycling helmet again. Why you should not wear a cycling helmet? It's proven that the rebound effect is higher than the gain value. This means if you wear a helmet, it's statistically proven that you have a 14% higher chance to get involved in an accident. Because if you wear a helmet, you drive faster. If you wear a helmet, you are endangering others as well. Some cons on the construction side, two workers said, in my entire working life, I was pumping my head only two times. Since I wear a helmet, I don't pump it twice a day. This is the rebound effect. And this is what I hate. This is the enemy to the cars. They are going banded. They're going in yellow fiber. He looks aggressive. He's the enemy to the cars. And he is freaky. And he wears a helmet. And this is unsafe. This is safe. You can see this in Holland. They are chatting, they are slow, they are having everyday clothes, and so on and so on. In Copenhagen, they made a study. They were promoting helmets, and within a couple of years, the bicycle go, sold, sales go down by 30%, and there were less cyclists on the street. So, even the, the cycling pope, Colville Anderson, said, we have seen in every country in the world. And this is the main problem. With promoting bicycle helmets, people stop cycling. Why? You can also see that it is in those countries, they have um, a mandatory helmet law like parts in US or in South Korea, the accidents are much more accidents per driven kilometer. And a new problem occurs in all those bicycle shared systems. It's not possible to rent bicycles because you, they won't um, have, and they have a solution. They have some like a slot machine where you can rent a, bicycle, a helmet. So they did it in Melbourne, nobody cycle there, yeah. So, the helmet drivers is um, a circle of devil, so this means the spontaneity sinks and nobody is cycling anymore. There, you can see in those countries where there are mandatory helmet laws, the accidents are the highest. So, we should not make advertisement for helmets at all, you should not use a helmet because then it comes those victim blaming. Like you can read in the newspaper sometimes, oh, he, as a cyclist, fall down, he hurt himself on the arm, but he didn't wear a helmet or something like this, you know? So this means victim blaming from the press. We can see those, all the countries here, here are the, the, the cities, and this is the percentage of the cycling. There are a lot of people cycling in Münster, Copenhagen, and Newton and Oldenburg. No city with a mandatory helmet laws succeed to get more cyclists than five or eight percent. Yeah. So, and what it would be then future if we got the mandatory helmet law? Then they say, okay, then we have to get a vest, maybe 20, 25 probably a spine uh, protector, and in the year 2050, there will be the end of cycling, because... So, the conclusion, to make everyday cycling safer, you should not wear a helmet. We have people in Salzburg, they do exactly the opposite like from the university or our bicycle planners, they still promote bicycle helmet. In Sweden or Norway, they don't do this anymore. So ask me why I'm not wearing a bicycle helmet, because I am not a selfish person and I want to promote everyday cycling. Thank you.